Yay! I completed my game. Let's quickly build it. File. Build and run. This should take a few minutes, right? Make sure the optimization shouldn't take too long. Finally, 38 minutes, holy crap, looks good though. So 35 minutes out of those 38 minutes of build time was spent on compiling shader variants. What the heck are shader variants and why does it take so long to compile them? In this video we'll discuss what I've learned and I'll give you some tips to optimize your build process. So what is a shader? A shader is a program that runs on your GPU or your graphics processing unit at runtime and its uh, sole purpose is to generate the levels of light, darkness and color for the pixels on your screen. This is an example of a simple shader that simply sets the surface color of a material to white and here you can see the effects of running that shader program. The graphics tier settings and the APIs that your platform supports and that you're including in the build will determine the set of cache variants that are compiled for that build. The graphics tier settings can be found by going to edit project settings graphics and you can here you can see the low medium and high tier if you uncheck use defaults you can go start changing that around and that will change the set of shader variants that are compiled the APIs that will be included in this build for your specific platform can be found by going to file build settings player settings Player, and then you'll see this auto graphics API that is usually checked by default which that's where you usually want to leave it you can always uncheck it and to see what graphics APIs are included so I have the OpenGL ES3 the Vulkan and the OpenGL ES2 when you first build for a specific platform like I did for my Android device the Variants will be compiled into a shader cache folder. You can find that by going into your project folder, library, shader cache. And here you can see all the folders that were created at the top level to make it easier for indexing and finding the shader caches. If you click on one of them, you can see all these different bin files. There are literally tens of thousands of them. I went ahead and did a count on the shader cache folder that I have right now. I have 80,140 files in there. That's crazy. Actually, I've gotten it as high as 180,000 uh, files one time. The number of shader variants compiled directly correlates to your build time. To figure out how many shader variants are compiled, you can look at this formula. The total shader variants are equal to the summation of the sum of the shader assets times the sum of the subshaders times the sum of the passes 
Yeah, this gets a little complicated. Um, anyways, I don't totally under, understand it, but yeah. So at the beginning of this video, I bought this game for the very first time. And it's one of the reasons it took 38 minutes. Uh, it was the initial compile time for all the shader variants that took so long. Um, now we're going to try a consecutive build and it should go much faster. So let's go to file, build and run. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, still longer than I would like it to take, but um, the main bolt finished at around five minutes. I've made a copy of the project that was running on the solid state drive to my spinning drive that runs at 7200 RPMs. And we're gonna bolt and run it to see how much slower it will be on a spinning drive. Okay, so the second build on the slower 70 to 100 RPM spinning drive took 11 minutes. That's almost double what uh, took on the SSD. So my recommendation is to just go ahead and uh, buy the fastest solid state drive that you can afford. Besides dishing out some money on a super fast solid state hard drive, what else can we do in Unity to speed up this uh, build process? One of the big things you can do is go to File, Build Settings, Player Settings, click on Player, and then uncheck the Auto Graphics API. Uh, when you uncheck it, Unity will attempt to run this application in the first uh, API at the top of the list. So in this case, if we click play, it will actually run this project with OpenGL ES3. If we move Vulkan to the top, it will be run in Vulkan. So it's a quick way to see how it looks in the editor. And also it will attempt to do that when you when you actually build it. Uh, it will run that as the uh, on, on your platform on the Android device. Um, but one thing you can also do, maybe just temporarily while you're maybe working with your testers, your testing team, and you want to do a quick bolt and you want to reduce the bolt time, uh, is you can just remove the, you can remove the APIs that you're not really interested in at that point. Um, so in this case, I want to keep OpenGL ES3 and Vulkan, and I'm just going to remove the OpenGL, ES, OpenGL ES2. Okay, the re-importing of some of the assets has completed and now we're ready to build and run it. Let's hope this reduces the build time. Wow. By just removing open GLES2, I've reduced the build time from five minutes to one minute. That's pretty impressive. Let me see if this thing's actually running on the phone. Yep, there it is. Looks good. Okay, that's awesome. So let's take it a step further. What if I also remove Vulcan? So now we're going to go through this whole importing of assets again. Okay, let's build and run this puppy with just open GLES3 selected. 
as the graphics API. And again, this is actually running on the solid state hard drive. <laughs> there you go, 20 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So, so yeah, so we start out with a solid, with a, um, uh, if you start out with a spinning drive, let's say you got a pretty decent one running at 7200 RPMs f with this specific project. Um, I don't know how long the initial build will take, uh, Based on estimates, um, if the solid state drive took 45 minutes, I would imagine at least two to three hours if you run it on a spinning drive. Uh, anyways, uh, then the consecutive build on a spinning drive uh, takes about 11 minutes. Um, then on a solid state drive, uh, you know, with about 512 gigs per second throughput, uh, so it's not a M M.2 drive, it's uh, you know a slower one. Uh, it takes about five minutes for the consecutive builds. Um, and then when I just include one gra graphics API, uh, which is the OpenGL ES3, I get it down to 20 seconds. And I think it's fine to, you know, if you're, and this is specific for Android builds, um, if you, if you're working, you know, on functionality wise, you know, you're working on your project and you want to quickly be able to test out your changes on your device, on your Android device, I think this is, this is totally fine. Just take out all the graphics APIs and leave, uh, OpenGL ES3 so that only the shader variants are compiled for that specific API. Each time you add another API, it's another layer uh, of, um, uh, of, or another set of, of shader variants that need to be compiled. So I think this is a good way to go about it for now. And then maybe when you get towards the end and you're going to be testing this out on multiple devices, if you, you know, if you're got a ton of them lying around. I actually only have about three Android devices, but you know, if you want to test it out on a bunch of different ones, go ahead and add them back. Make sure uh, you click the auto graphics API and that way you can make sure, you know, your when at runtime, uh, when your, your game or apps running on device, uh, Unity will actually choose what is the best um, API for that specific device. For instance, Vulkan uh, has shown uh, to be more optimized at runtime, so you can get sometimes 35% faster uh, frame rates when you run it on devices that support Vulkan, and more and more so devices are supporting it. Uh, OpenGL ES3, I would say, is probably the main one you kind of want to test with right now because most uh, modern Android devices will support that um, with uh, with Vulkan the some of the older Android devices will not support it but in general when you go to deployment you definitely want to use the auto graphics API and make sure before you select it again that all the other graphics APIs are added back for that specific platform to do that you just click on the plus sign and then for this Android platform you see there's only open GLES 2 and Vulkan. On this project, it's not worth my time to optimize the build time beyond 20 seconds. I'm totally fine with that. But if you have a bigger project than me or you're still having very long build times, you can try and do the following. Uh, make sure you're only using the necessary lights in your project. The more lights you have and the different types of lights that you have will add to the project build time. Uh, don't use Shadow Cascade. Uh, you can try deleting unused shaders from your project. Also, you can get very technical 
and start looking at the different shader keyword starts that are being used. One of the ones that can really explode your shader creation is the multi-compile statement and you can actually move towards a shader feature keyword that gets a little technical and I wanted this tutorial to be more geared towards beginners and things we can quickly do to um, get your bolt times you know, down to something more manageable. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give a like, subscribe, and turn on that bell for alerts. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.